Hello guys, welcome to another Spark session by Lime Guru. In this tutorial, we are going to see how Spark executes a program onto the cluster. This is a very basic introduction to the first Spark concept, the internal details which internal details which Spark uses behind the scene whenever you run your Spark program. So get let's get started. So guys, whenever you uh, whenever you want to submit your spark program or you, you launch your spark job the first, there are two things which spark uses internally the first thing is the uh, driver program and the another thing is the executors so whenever you submit your program the first thing is that you the driver program gets called the whole program the whole job that you have written is your driver program and this driver program is responsible to launch this to do this to execute this program onto various nodes parallelly within your cluster through executors so the second thing is executors executors so there are multiple executors which might be doing the computation for you based on the program that you have written. So driver program is the first thing which gets called through which your Spark job gets submitted and then we have the executors. And on executors we have the multiple tasks which keeps on running for your Spark job. Okay. So how does it work? Let's discuss it in more details. So guys, let's suppose you have written your program. The second thing is either you can submit that program in a standalone way or you can submit or you can start writing your program in Spark shell. It could be either Python based shell which is PySpark or it could be Scala based shell which is through Spark shell. So whenever you launch your shell, whenever you enter into shell you write your program in an interactive mode and in this scenario your shell is considered in itself is a driver program so this driver program is responsible to submit your jobs onto the cluster so keep in mind that in case of shells whenever you write your program in an interactive way in case of shell that shell in itself is a driver program and that shell takes you to the executors for doing the computation onto parallel nodes and whenever you write your program in standalone way uh, in that way you need to write your driver program itself okay guys so let's take an example uh, let's say I am writing my program where I am scanning a file and it reads the content of that file so this is the python based program where what I am doing is I am reading a file from this location which is input.txt so I am going to write this program onto PySpark shell because this is a python based program so let's launch the PySpark shell first. PySpark. So guys, now I'm launching a PySpark shell. So as I mentioned, so this shell will con will behave will be behaved as my driver program, and in this driver program, I'll be writing my code. Let's wait for this shell to get started. It is getting launched. You can see in the logs. Okay, so shell has been started. You can see welcome to Spark version 2.1.0 using Python version 2.7.11. So guys, when you enter into driver program or shell, so the next thing is the another important concept is SC that you get access to Spark context. Spark context is the object which is provided by driver program to you and this Spark 
context you can think of it as a linkage between driver program and there are multiple in between the multiple executors so whenever you submit this program like in this case you are reading this input file input.txt it could this file could be on hdfs path which could be distributed among various nodes so whenever you are reading a hdfs file so this spark context internally knows that on which which node this file is going to be look going to be present and this path context internally links to all the nodes it ships this code this code gets shipped to all those nodes where where uh, this input.txt file is present and then all those nodes gets executed in parallel so basically spark context provides a linkage between your driver program and the nodes and this code get shipped to various nodes where your input data set is present and guys another important concept is whenever you link your spark context with any function then it becomes your rdd so this is an rdd which you have assigned to another parameter or another variable which is lines so lines become my rdd and guys we will cover more detail about rdd in the subsequent session but just to give you a high level idea uh, i wanted to explain that what is spark context how the code gets shipped and what is rdd so this is very basic introduction and we will cover in more details in the subsequent subsequent sessions so if i execute this program then your rdd has been created you already have reference to two spark context which is sc provided by your driver program which is the shell itself you read the file input.txt so input dot this code gets shipped to various nodes executor nodes where this file is present and the rdd has been created and has has been assigned to lines so any subsequent functions you want to call you can call on top of rdd rdd so let's say you want to count the number of lines in this file so you will do lines dot count so i did lines dot count i got the output as 3 so basically you don't need to write rdd again and again you once you define your rdd within your program and then you can call functions on top of that rdd and you can do the computation so guys when you do the lines dot count again this file might be present on various nodes internally it connects to all the nodes and count the result and give you the total count present within all those files distributed across data nodes and the you and you get the single output as sum of all the lines distributed among different data nodes so this is how spark work internally uh, through driver program and the executors i hope guys you have you got the idea how spark executes program through spark shell and the another thing i would like to highlight is that you can whenever you write your standalone program that is you are not entering or submitting your job through spark shell you are writing your standalone program it could be python based program it could be scala based program it could be java based program so whenever you write your standalone program you don't get reference to this object s which is sc you need to initialize this program uh, initialize this spark context manually within your program we will cover in more detail how you can write your standalone program in the subsequent session but just wanted to tell you that the sc you need to initialize manually whenever you are writing your standalone program but whenever you are writing your code through any of the spark shell then it is by default provided to you and just to check whether sc is already been initialized for you or not you can simply write sc and you will see the spark context object reference to the spark context object that this has already been initialized which you can use within your program 
गाइज आई होप दैट यू गॉट एन आइडिया दैट हाउस पार्क इंटरनली लॉन्च इज अ जॉब थ्रू ड्राइवर प्रोग्राम एंड एग्जीक्यूटर्स द कंसेप्ट ऑफ शिपिंग ऑफ कोड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एस सी एंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ आर डी डीज सो दीज आर वेरी फाउंडेशनल टर्म्स विच विल बी यूज थ्रू आउट योर द स्पार्क टूटोरियल्स एंड वी हैव गिवेन अ वेरी बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू ऑल ऑफ दीज टर्म्स इन दिस सेशन एंड वी विल बी कवरिंग ईच एंड एवरी टर्म इन डिटेल्स विल बी कवरिंग द इंटरनल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन और इंटरनल डिटेल्स इन अ वेरी डिटेल मैनर इन द सब्सिक्वेंट सेशंस